don't you just feel like sometimes you just need to take a break from everything because that's exactly how i feel hey my guys how you doing welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome 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 my name is damola kewe i'm sure at the beginning of the video you assumed that i was taking a break eventually i will need to take a break why because taking a break is very therapeutic but that's not what i'm talking about now you know how sometimes you just feel like you need to like just stop and like really like go off and just reflect social media content creation it can all be overwhelming at times and sometimes all you really need is a break i'm just talking about why you should take a break from some things and what you should do to actually have like an effective break because it's not just about taking a break because sometimes you can take a break and you come back and you're still not feeling satisfied you're still wondering what the point of that break was because you're still doing the exact same things so i'm telling you a few things that you can do while you're taking this break if it's off social media of content creation whatever it is that you are doing please make sure you hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and don't forget to share and comment let's be very engaging if you remember my last video where i talked about the struggles of being a youtuber of content creation engage with one of the things i mentioned so please engage this post thank you okay so first of all why do i think why am i talking about taking a break from experience i have taken a day off social media like once or twice and each time i do i'm just like this step you don't even know that you're stressed until you actually go off Taking a break is essential. I'm explaining to you a few things that you should probably try when you're taking your break. Um, who was it? I think it was Albert Einstein that said insanity is doing the same thing over and over again to expect different results. So if you're going to take a break and come back and you didn't do anything during that break and you're coming back to expect something different, you might just be insane. I didn't say it, Albert Einstein said it. One of the most important things on this list is ask yourself why exactly are you taking this break what are you trying to achieve from this break why in the first place do you feel that you need to take this break when i first took my break i, I was just tired really like i just felt like there were so many messages there was so much happening and it was just overwhelming me and i wasn't like thinking properly so i said okay you know what i'm off let me drag myself out of all this so that was what I did. So that's why I said, ask yourself why you are doing what you're doing. Understand that your mental health is the most important thing. I feel like not enough people are saying it, which is why I have devoted myself to focusing on mental health. Mental health is so important. Understand that this period, that period of the break is a very good time to also talk, take care of yourself. Skincare is important, right? Very important. But that's not what self-care is all about. Things like, if you decide to go for a massage, a massage is self-care. Playing, playing is self-care. Like people don't understand how vital playing is. Don't think that because you're an adult, you can't play. Honestly speaking, playing is important. I mean, what's that statement? Um, all work and no play makes Jack, makes Jack a dull boy. Do you want to be a dull boy or a dull girl? So play. Take some time off and play because everybody likes to play. Don't be embarrassed. Exercising as well is important. A lot of people don't understand that exercising is not just about dieting. Exercising generally is just for you to make your physical being stronger, to build your immunity. It's not just about losing weight. I exercise. If you look at me, what weight do I want to lose? But I still exercise. You don't have to go to the gym. It's little things here and there. Climb up your staircase, walk around your estate. It's exercise. So the next thing is do something different. In doing something different, sometimes you find things about yourself that you didn't even know about your own self. Like me, let me use my example. When I was in school, like I said earlier on in the question tag that you guys asked me, I said that I studied architecture at Covenant University. Some days were very, very, very frustrating, right? And like there's some things that I would do, like photography, not photography, but working with technical crew of my school, of school it was an awesome experience like i looked forward to that because i knew okay this is something that's outside of architecture work and i enjoyed it and technical crew in covenant university they were awesome they were like they, they were it for me they were always there like it wasn't just about they were actively teaching you something so i was doing something different i was still learning and these people were like a family to me in doing something different apart from architecture i discovered how much i love photography 
in the process i discovered how much i loved graphic design like it was just a very eye-opening experience for me so that's why i mean do something different remember now we're still talking about how to effectively take a break from social media content creation everything in general before i continue please make sure you hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy because why not and when you hit that subscribe button also hit the bell to turn on post notifications because i post new videos every week every single wednesday so let's continue the next thing that i would mention is take some time to like just pray meditate and really like re-evaluate yourself sit down with yourself and god and just really meditate and think and pray and understand who you are remember at the beginning i said ask yourself why you decided to take a break in asking yourself why you decided to take a break it also comes to meditating as well think about everything that you have done okay these things that i have been doing did i enjoy doing these things what should i stop doing there was something that my mom told me that up till today i can't ever forget okay so story time so in my i think my third year of school I called my parents one day and I was just crying. I was just crying. I was like, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm not doing this anymore. Like I had, like, I don't, I don't remember why I was so frustrated, but I know that when I called that day, I had never been more tired of anything. Like I felt like I was done with school and like, I don't remember everything she said to me that day that made me feel better. But the one thing that I can't forget that she said after we had like talked and I was feeling much better every day for 30 days write down what you do at the end of each day and when you write down the things you do pick out the ones you enjoyed doing pick out the ones you didn't enjoy doing and pick out the ones that you had to do let me just give you guys like a rough day for me in school so at the end of one day let's say for example now okay, this assignment i did i know it's compulsory so it's a thing of i have to do okay this thing i did today i did it really late why did i do it late because i had procrastinated so okay, I know, okay, I don't like to procrastinate because it doesn't help me. Then I can be like, okay, this particular design I did, I really liked it today. I know, okay, I like colors, design and stuff. You do that for 30 days. At the end of 30 days, go back to everything. Look at all the things that you didn't like doing. You probably find a pattern and identify that thing that you'd like, that you need to stop. So you know, okay, I need to stop this. Like for me, I knew that I procrastinated a lot. I made a video about procrastination as well. You can check that out. So my point there is, evaluate yourself pray meditate spend some time with you and with god um another thing you can do is have a i didn't know what to call this so i just call it a purpose guideline just assume i take a break of youtube right and i decide okay why am i because i come back and i'm like okay why am i coming back to youtube which is my purpose guideline what exactly i'm what's my aim so like when i come back to youtube what do i aim to achieve Asking is one thing, but actually planning to do that is where this purpose guideline comes into play. So you ask yourself, okay, what did I plan to achieve when I come back into YouTube now? But I know, okay, this is my guideline. And for me now, my guideline will be, I know that I want to help people to design their dream life with habits that will boost their mental health. So that's what I know I want to do. 90% of the videos I make would have to find a connection to mental health, which is what I want to do. You can decide, instead of spending endless hours, if I, I'm going to just spend like 30 minutes a day on Instagram and get at least something, one thing insightful at the end of my scroll. Because lots of times you can just scroll and realize that you didn't gain anything, which is pointless. Your whole time is just wasted. Another thing that you should try out is think of it like the fasting concept. Let me explain what fasting is. Ideally, when you hear fasting, most people think of food fasting, right? So the point of food fasting now as a Christian is the time that I would have spent eating Instead of me eating now during those 30 minutes, I would spend those 30 minutes concentrating on God and praying to him in particular. I mean, we pray every day. Ideally, people should pray every day. But that moment is when you're like taking time off to actually be with the Holy Spirit. So the time you love is you'd have spent scrolling through Instagram or Twitter or anything. Use that time to do something else. Like I said, play, self-care. In doing something else, another thing you can try is reading a book. Listening to a book is not the same thing as reading it. Because you are literally using two different senses to do that. If you are listening, you are using your ears. If you are reading, you are using your eyes. When you see it, it's easier for you to remember what you see than for you to remember what you heard. When you are holding your soft copy, what are you holding? Are you not holding your phone? 
when you're holding your hard copy, you're literally holding a book. By the time you're holding your phone, you probably get more distracted than if you're holding your book. Being this, if you see a notification on your phone, you are literally holding your phone, so you will see a notification like if it comes down. Unless if you're those kind of people that turn off notifications and everything, which is good. But still, like you get distracted. But if you're reading a book, you can decide to drop your phone and put your phone on silent or just put your phone away. I'm not discrediting soft copy and audiobooks. Don't get it twisted. I'm just trying to explain that in taking a break, reading a hard copy book is probably better than reading soft copy or audiobooks. The last one that I would also talk about is writing. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm comparing one thing to another, but typing, like texting and writing are not the same thing at all. I don't know if it's just me, but like when I'm writing something and when I'm typing something, I get two different feelings. Writing with your hand, you're literally writing different letters and they have like different movements so they evoke different feelings. I don't know if it's just me, let me know if it's just me that has that feeling when I'm writing. But writing is also a very good way to take a break. All these few points of mine and this hopefully short video, when I'm editing, I don't know if it's long or short. I really hope you guys have enjoyed these things that I have for you today. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up because why not? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have probably mentioned a few things that will probably make you want to know more. So let me know what questions you have and I will make other videos on that as time goes on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Cheers. Tables. <laughs>